everybody, this is Praxis, and as far as work goes today, I haven't done an enormous amount. Yesterday, we finished up the floors, uh, gave two uh, coats of seal to this. I'm still walking around in socks here. It won't be for a couple of days that I feel like we can kind of you know, walk normally on here. But uh, I took the opportunity, as you can see, to start getting ready for Christmas. I promised River that we'd be in for Christmas, and so far, well, with a little asterisk next to it, as long as nothing ridiculous happens. We've had a lot of ridiculous things happen, but I st still think we're going to make that goal. Uh, so I've been grabbing this stuff from the shed, if you guys recall. I had packed the shed to the gills, just making sure we could be constantly moving stuff from the other house to here, and I had been putting a bunch in the shed. This stuff was as deep in the shed as it could possibly be. I had to pull out a bunch of other things, but it actually worked out fine because I needed to bring them in here anyway, and those things are now up on the third floor uh, in the storage room where the pantry food used to be. In terms of uh, stuff that I'm doing on the house today, uh, right here is what's going on. Uh, I figured I would uh, put some tongue oil around the sink so we could start using it. I took uh, tongue oil and put it in this little old yogurt container. I put it over the wood stove with a little bit of a spacer to warm it up. Uh, and I'm just using this brush to get it into the, the stone here. As you can see, as you put the tongue oil on there, it really brings out the natural color of the stone. Uh, makes it kind of look, uh, you know, when you're at the ocean and you see rocks and they're all beautiful and you go pick them up and then you bring them home and then they dry and they're like, wow, why did I think this was so vibrant? It's like, because it was wet. So uh, the tongue oil kind of does that same thing where it uh, you know makes the stone look that beautiful, rich, you know, wet kind of look all the time. And a little bit goes a long way. I'm just dipping the tips of the bristles in here and uh, kind of rubbing it in and uh, trying not to make it too soupy. If you make it too soupy, when it uh, sort of cools off and jellifies, you'll, you could have like some chunky, gooey gel on here. So you want to want to be sparing with it and really just spread it around as much as it'll let you spread around. So, like I said, a little bit goes a long way, but just like a maybe a tablespoon and a half in this whole cup. So, uh, what's going on with me is that we're just doing all the things we want to do before we move in, like, you know, make so the sink can be used, we're going to start sealing walls, and I have some good news for today. The inspector for the smoke detectors finally showed up. Uh, he was kind of apologetic, and that really makes a huge difference, I think. Uh, you know, just being like, hey, I'm sorry I stood you guys up for a while, things have just been crazy. You know, maybe I'm a, a sucker for politeness and uh, courtesy and all that, but uh, it really makes a huge difference. You know, we hadn't heard from him in like half a month, and if he'd been all aloof, I still would have been all like, ah, what a jerk, you know, whatever. But, uh, yeah, he's a nice guy, and he was apologetic, and like I said, it makes all the difference. So, uh, we're done with that. Now all we have is one more uh, inspection before we can get the final, which is the plumbing inspection. I still don't know when that's going to happen, but we have at least been hearing from that person. And I, I would anticipate today, at the time of this recording, is uh, uh, Saturday. I, you know, I think you know I, Monday or Tuesday next week. I think we're going to see that person, and then midweek or by the end of the week, we should have our. Uh, our final inspection done, and and then we're in. Uh, I don't know exactly where that falls in terms of Christmas. Christmas, I know, has already gone by for you guys. It's still in our future. Um, but, you know, realistically, I can put presents under that tree. We can use sleeping bags and camp out here. And, you know, if we got to do Christmas that way, I think that would be totally fine. Because the house is warm, it's comfortable, it's livable. All our food's here, pretty much. So, I mean, this is more a house than the other place at this point. Uh, but at this point, I'm just... Using the time, taking care of sealing stuff, all this kind of thing. That's it. Thanks for watching.